just to get the background. Yeah, I think I think I do think I'm not sure if it's just other things going on or daylight savings change has made it a smaller number than normal, but we can get started and see how we go. Um yeah, so welcome again to another ACF Chat Fridays. It's the open office hours with the ACF team. We've got big, big old team here today. We've got all the engineers, we've got Liam, we've got Matt, we've got Anthony, we've got Phil, we've got Brian from the engineering team as well, and Mike from content. Um, we do this every other week. We typically just do an open Q&A format, so we'll make use of the Q&A um, feature in Zoom, or you can just post uh, questions in chat, or you can just unmute and, and ask away, because I don't think we're going to be talking over each other. Um, and we'll post the video up on YouTube as usual, and we'll do a blog post on the Advanced Custom Fields website with the link to the YouTube and a summary of what we talked about. So if you don't make it every other week, you can catch up. Um, yeah, we don't have a topic, I don't think, for today. We're just going to uh, take questions and maybe have a, a, a relaxed chat amongst ourselves, because as I said, there's a small, small number of folks today. Um, so... Yeah, what is going on? Oh, actually, what's going on with our backgrounds? We have got um, the WP Engine uh, online developer conference, the annual conference that WP Engine have been doing for quite a while now. Um, and that is next week. As you can see, starting March 19th in the US, we do three sort of versions of it across US, APAC and EMEA, um, finishing off on the 21st. So yeah, we'll pop a link to the Registration, I think registration is still open, so you're very welcome to come. We've got an ACF session um, that Liam's doing with uh, a num another of our colleagues, Rob, which I'm looking forward to. So what's what's that about, Liam? Tell us briefly. Oh, I'm put on the spot now. Right, uh, so it's uh, just a kind of walkthrough of some things you can do with ACF blocks. Uh, there's some interesting kind of interactive ones. Uh, Weirdly, both of my ACF blocks don't use any ACF fields, so it's a thing that most people probably don't realize you can do. But uh, yeah, you can uh, use ACF blocks to to kind of give you a PHP template into the React world without having to worry about uh, knowing React. What else? Is there any other interesting things on the on the bill? I know there's some, some AI stuff and some headless stuff as well. I need to need to have a bit more of a look at the. Uh what's upcoming but it does look like it's a pretty good event it's not it's not just wp engine people it's, there's loads of people on the outside which are, uh yeah, there's, there's a, good, a good talk running you through uh, all the changes coming in wordpress 6.5 uh which is out in a, in a couple of weeks yeah two weeks i think right just just before easter um and there's a uh, yeah going running through some of the things uh, there's some things in there that will or can be used with cf as well which is neat um so yeah, come along to that session hosted by Damon Cook and a couple of other folks who I've forgotten. And that's a lovely segue into Diego's question in Q&A. What do we think about WordPress 6.5? Um, yeah, I did. I, I, uh, made a note to look at the field guide actually, because that came out yesterday on the make blog. And yeah, we the big thing for, for us for 6.5, I guess, is block bindings, right? And we are going to be supporting it uh, as of the next version of ACF, hopefully in time for, for WordPress 6.5, although that doesn't necessarily mean the next version will be 6.3, but we're going to try and get a, a version out that will have block binding support. Uh, one more, okay. Major versions. Major features. This is this is what I'm referring to. The field uh, guide. Daniel, I, I can talk a little bit about the interactivity API there because that was obviously the kind of where your question was based around. Yeah, it's an interesting one, right? Because it would be cool to support it, um, but kind of only in the context of how, but how we enable, how we give you support for it is obviously where the problem lies because you kind of don't want to get into a place you know the demos we've seen like that it's, it's kind of like for live updating of, of fields right yeah you know, there's a plus one button and the count goes up in real time so it's it basically all you're doing is registering a piece of data that the server will handle keeping update for you uh, and arguably we could do that for acf fields but wordpress 
I'm looking to Ant here because he can confirm this, but I'm fairly sure you still can't have two folks editing at the same time. So, well, yeah. So that was kind of one of the things that I would caution with the interactivity API. It, it the, the the idea of this thing is it's real time. So I I don't know if you want to open up something that's writing data to your ACF fields. Like I could see pulling data into there and initializing at a certain point, but not not going further than that and being manipulated because, like, imagine you get a thousand people on your website at the same time all clicking a thing and if those are doing rights or queries against your site it's not advisable <laughs> yeah and to do that obviously that's would be on the front end of the website which you would then have to write react to do anyway so trying to figure out a way that we could give you a way to do that in acf in a way that makes sense yeah with you could our storage you could do like something like make a REST API endpoint that like gets rate limited based off of certain behavior and like maybe it, it, it see the thing with the, the interactivity API is everyone's really excited about it, but I want to like hear uh, like tangible things they want to do with it. Um, and that's the thing, even even in myself, like I, I, I'm, I'm extremely eager to use it, but I still haven't found the right thing that I want to use it with that that will actually like make that light bulb go off and make me want to like plan out other things, you know, um, but it's still early days, so uh, I think it's it's fun to play with for sure. But I don't know if it's something I would want to interact with my fields. Yeah, I think it, it's going to be more interesting when more of the block editor starts using it, right? Because that's why it's shipping. It's it's this this whole hey, register a piece of data, and it can be updated, and it will be live updated wherever it is. So as as the WordPress block editor moves into phase three, and it, they start working on the collaboration. You know, multiple people editing the same thing, but like Google Docs, right? If you've used that, you're kind of used to that whole editing in line and seeing other people's changes live. That's where I think it can be useful for ACF, but I can't really see a, a kind of front end output requirement yet that you'd uh, want to keep it. One thing yeah. I could see that would be, be kind of useful is um, so one way that I'm considering using it is uh, like I have a, a uh, pages that, that can be multiplayer where like people can be like in a video chat with each other. And and those sorts of things can be can might need to be limited. Like you don't want a thousand people in a video chat together. So you would want something like the interactivity API to keep a real time count of how many people are in the room, and then like adjust the behavior of your client based on that. So like if the max is reached, don't let more people into the video chat type of thing. Um, that's where I see it being really useful. Is like just dynamic front ends. Yeah, it's just that that doesn't equate to acf fields yet so as soon as there is a as soon as there is a back-end implementation of it i think that's where where we can take advantage of it i think that's to me that's the um that's the same for a couple of the, the six five changes like the interactivity the block hooks i can't imagine how to use it but block bindings is definitely the thing that is a real uh is a real need i mean obviously it's around custom field data and that's kind of where, where it's in our wheelhouse so we know people need to use custom field data um and having that connecting to blocks is really helpful but yeah block hooks is another thing i just don't i just don't have a real world example so it's quite tricky isn't it when people say oh will acf support feature x block hooks interactivity unless we know a bit more like why um but i think it's also just a sign of wordpress seems to be shipping stuff that's very it's early in this in the sense that it's like a v1 of not not a ui based way of doing things and it feels like it's it's not really been fleshed out of how it would be used and the the, the more people get to play with it the more people will find reasons to use it and then maybe we can start looking at compatibility but as I said, block bindings, we are, will be supporting in time for WordPress 6.5. And it's also one of those things where it's like, if we move really fast on supporting something or having an opinion, opinionated implementation of it, and then somebody else uses it for something totally different, and then we're not compatible with that use case, that's the thing that I would be really worried about going too quick on it for. I do quite like that 6.5 is bringing the plugin dependencies yeah, that's feature. Yeah, huge. That's a big is, one. Yeah, that's that's really nice. 
the ability just to say my plugin requires this plugin without using a third party script or library or something. A bit of a shame you can't do that. WordPress with core, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm reading through that field guide and just noticed they have a uh, new function. WP is serving REST request and WP is REST endpoint, which might not be that exciting, but to me, I've always wanted like a more official way just to make sure that we're in a WordPress REST request. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I feel like WooCommerce always had something built around that. And if I needed something like that, I just copy what WooCommerce did. But yeah, having a core thing just seems to make a load of sense. Yeah. So you could, would, would, a, would a save to in Gutenberg? Do that like the the rest request that it does there yeah that show is oh nice cool oh yeah that was a big one they put the site uh icon inside of i think it's like the general page for your for yeah where what? was it before was it in the customizer or customizer something? yeah yeah they had yeah, to move it out yeah, that's the only sense. design thing you can do on that page. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's such a site level thing, though, that it makes a lot of sense to actually finally do that. Do we have we got uh, an idea for what's coming in six six? It's not that it, it's not necessarily the phase three of the collaboration stuff that we were talking about earlier, is it? That's more long term. Uh, it's it's a much shorter lived release as well. So you're not going to get as much in. It comes out in, in just, a, well, the beta cycle is going to start in a few weeks after release. So there's not going to be all that much uh, shipping in it. But also WordPress don't decide what is going to be in the next release. They see what's ready at the point that they they want to cut. So they've got some ideas of things like block, of how they're going to extend block bindings. It's not looking like the UI is going to be in 6.6. Six. It's probably going to be in 6.7 uh, because they have some more things they want to do behind the scenes to prepare for their own things like uh, pattern overrides and things like that to be saved through the uh, through block bindings. So yeah, the more work there and then the UI comes later, which is a bit of a shame because obviously the UI would, would really make block bindings powerful for ACF, but uh, I'm yeah. sure it'll be later this year. From the from Tavern, it says that uh, uh, Josepha said, I would like to propose that 6.6 6 be held specifically for maintenance and general polish of the software, as was wished for earlier this year. Mm. Yeah, that and makes a lot of sense. Phase but... 3 will be after that for 6.7. So it says that it's not clear how much Phase 3 work will be ready in time. But yeah, so that's going to be the, the shift. Is So 6.6 6 is going to be focused on maintenance cleanup, and then 6.7 is going to be more seriously considering phase three yeah i was in a in a kind of a youtube live stream by a couple of uk um wordpress developers talking about the block editor and um various things and just just the conversation around the confusing nature of how things are named and the user experience on some things that just and someone made the comment that it just we just need to sort of freeze new things for the moment and try and figure out some of those sort of ux edges that just aren't aren't quite there and and making it a bit clearer how to use things and when things like the whole naming of synced patterns and other non-sync patterns and yeah we're we're like one row of buttons away at the top bar from being like internet explorer days <laughs> just too much ui <laughs> yeah did you see as well that you can correct block variations with php now in 65 yeah. Wait. So, so the thing I'm not... understanding is, is it you can do the entire thing in PHP. You don't need an index file or any any JavaScript to do the editor side. Is that right? Yeah, that's not what that's not what I assumed it was. But I need to because like I, I was think... trying to figure out because I, I saw that people were saying that you could do it with PHP uh, specifically, but I didn't understand how you would do that with the editor because the editor you actually need to like write the components that are going to be added to do the variation. Actually, I feel like that's, that's not a new thing, but it's an enhancement, unless I'm just barking up the wrong tree. I, I, I guess no, my I question- No, I keep hearing maybe... about it. Actually, uh, Justin um, Tadlock, I think, did mm. a blog post about this specifically. Um, 
and and I think it was like yesterday that he was saying that he didn't even notice this was added and that he wanted to Five do eight. a blog post on it. Yeah. Does that really affect blocks? That are, I mean, ACF blocks, though, in that sense, because... I don't think so. Because you can still, you should be able to still do a variation because the variation, what it's doing is it's it's adding an attribute to that block. And then on the front end, you can respect that attribute and do something with it. And and if you're doing something like uh, like like the query loop and you want to get in the query, there's actually like a function in there where you can get in the middle of the query and then you get those attributes in there and then you can use those attributes. So if you did something like uh, you gave an attribute of featured to a post type and, and uh, you mark a certain post featured um, and you wanted to get that data in the loop and only show featured ones, you would, uh, with that filter, uh, uh, inject that that attribute and say you know adjust my query to only include that property using the get field function against that that field and then parse the results and return them back so that's kind of the flow um, same thing with variations I just noticed Anthony, you've got a moving background. Yeah, it's quite cool. It keeps catching me off guard too, and I keep looking yeah. like, oh, did something? <laughs> What's moving? Any other questions, guys? Yeah, Diego and Marcel, you have got a clear floor. You've and got feel no... free to unmute too if you want to yeah. chat. Like we're we're here to hang out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, see, it's that callback. So then the callback is where you can actually uh, receive the new attributes and then do something with them. Uh, I guess I should give this a plug as well. The annual um, talk magazine's plug-in madness or sort of bracket style competition is open again it's in week two acf is in it which is great it's it's in it and it's reached round two we are up against the mighty yoast plugin so if you do have a second feel free to vote and get us into the next round that would be great it'd be nice to be a get a double a double win after winning it last year Yeah, and here's the, just going back to decode, here's the WP Tavern article, which kind of covered it a bit more in depth, which is not good. I guess it, we should be thankful we're not still talking about 627 and security stuff, which is good, kind of moving past it. Um, but yeah, um, what's everyone working on? Any problems? Um, any recent hurdles or roadblocks? Uh, maybe we should wrap it up for the afternoon. Well, I say afternoon. It's afternoon in the UK. But if if you guys are good, we can give you some time back. Um, I thought it would be quite a short one. Small small guest list today. Um, but we'll be back in a couple of weeks. Unless anyone's got any last minute last minute uh, questions or requests. Just 
So no, we won't be back in two weeks because that is uh, Easter. So have a good Easter. We won't. We won't be back in two weeks. No. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see some names on uh, on the decode registration list once we're in the sessions. Um, righty ho. Okay, cool. Well, we'll see you. What's the date of our next one? Back. You got anyone got that to hand? Fourteenth of April. Oh wow! Into April Whoa. already. Oh no, twelfth of April. Twelfth of April. That's okay, cool. well, you're not far, not far Higher off. Higher than I thought. <laughs> oh yeah, next next session is Good Friday, so it won't be. Yeah, we'll be back on the twelfth. Alrighty, well let's call it there. Thanks everyone for coming. See you on the twelfth of April. See you later. See everyone. Happy weekend.